The thousand injuries of Fortunato I had borne as I best could. But when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. You, who so well know the nature of my soul, will not suppose, however, that I gave utterance to a threat. At length, I would be avenged. This was a point definitively settled, but the very definitiveness with which it was resolved precluded the idea of risk. I must not only punish, but punish with impunity. A wrong is unredressed when retribution overtakes its redresser. It is equally unredressed when the avenger fails to make himself felt as such to him who has done the wrong. It must be understood that neither by word nor deed had I given Fortunato cause to doubt my goodwill. I continued, as was my wont, to smile in his face, and he did not perceive that my smile now was at the thought of his immolation. He had a weak point, this Fortunato, although in other regards he was a man to be respected and even feared. He prided himself in his connoisseurship in wine. Few Italians have the true virtuoso spirit. For the most part, their enthusiasm is adopted to suit the time and opportunity, to practice imposture upon British and Australian millionaires. In painting and gemmery, Fortunato, like his countrymen, was a quack. But when it came to the matter of old wines, he was most sincere. In this respect, I did not differ from him materially. I was skillful in the Italian vintages myself, and bought largely whenever I could. My dear Fortunato, you are luckily met. How remarkably well you are looking today. But I have received a pipe of what passes for Amontillado, and I have my doubts. How? Amontillado? A pipe? Impossible. And in the middle of carnival? I have my doubts, and I was silly enough to pay the full Amontillado price without consulting you in the matter. You were not to be found, and I was fearful of losing a bargain. An Amontillado? I have my doubts. Amontillado? And I must satisfy them. Ah, Amontillado. As you are engaged, I am on my way to the Cressy. If anyone has a critical turn, it is he. He will tell me. Bah! Lucrezia cannot tell Amontillado from Sherry. And yet, some fools will have it that his taste is a match for your own. Come, let us go. Whither? To your vaults, of course. My, my friend, no. I will not impose upon your good nature. I perceive you have an engagement. Lucrezia. I have no engagements. Come! My friend, no. It is not the engagement, but the severe cold from which I perceive you are afflicted. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Let us go. Nevertheless, the cold is merely nothing. Amontillado! You have been imposed upon. And as for Lucrezia, he cannot distinguish Sherry from Amontillado. <laughs> <laughs>